Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Meow by Faraday. Difficulty? You want me to tell you how difficult the chamber is? Really? Do you really want it? Okay, it's easy. Small chamber with cube and button as elements. There is the timer as the last move, so you might be scared by this, but do not worry. The timer is there not to make this test more based on execution, but to make this puzzle more logical. The timer is not too short, and there is a nut time for you, so don't be afraid. Enjoy! And there's a solution video provided by Libibapa. Alright. Let's hop into it then. Hmm. Ooh, got an automatic lift here. That gets us a lot more height here. Interesting. So this seems like a simple way to get to the exit, if we're willing to use portals. That is... strange. I guess that's just a way to get back up here, though. Did I ever look up at this? What is this? That's just lights. Okay, never mind. This does... stairs that also block our way to the exit. Interesting. And there's like a cube over there from that button. Hmm, so how would be the best way to get to that button? I guess right now, we just want to use this, right? Yeah, that works. Oh, Valve, fix your lighting. Alright, so we can do this. Uh-huh. And then... I suppose... Let's go around here, right? And... Set that portal in a better position. Actually, no, I need to go back up here first, it would seem. And I don't really necessarily need as much height as is provided by this lift here. Come on. There we go. But I would like to get a closer look at that window of opportunity. Oh, I didn't actually jump, but whatever. Hey, look at that, we got a close look anyway. Alright, so we got this cube now. This is the cube that we can put on that button over there to raise the stairs to the button that opens the exit. So what I'm wondering is, do we just need to press both buttons and then run for the exit? Cause that would be my guess. That's gonna be the first thing I try, actually. Let's go do that. There we go. So we put this here. Now there's no portal surface over there, so... I'm gonna guess... Oh right, but how do we actually get over there in the first place now? Interesting. That hasn't changed in any meaningful way. Faraday has a habit of making really simple tests that have one... one piece that I just don't get, and it takes me a long time to understand. Well, let's just go over there and then do some investigation, I guess. Yeah, I can't get in here. Can't circle jump around the glass. Cause they thought of that. Hmm... Those portal surfaces... ...are interesting. Cause I'm not really sure how we would take advantage of them at all. Like, there's no light bridges or anything to lift up the cube with. There's no other portal surfaces that I can use to walk through a portal to get to there. Hmm. What kind of spooky action at a distance am I supposed to do here? Let's head back up here and take the cube off the button, at least for now. I'll put it there. Hmm.
definitely need the stairs, though. The question is, how do we get here... ...after putting the cube on the button? Like, there is the possibility that maybe we need to juggle the cube, but... ...that seems like a really bad idea... ...for multiple reasons. No, that wouldn't even work anyway. Not only would the physics be terrible for that... ...but we wouldn't even be able to shoot a portal there when we wanted to. Like, if we- if we brought the cube over here... Let's just say we brought the cube over here, right? Can't press that button, because we're not close enough to it, so that's definitely out of the equation. And they put this extra block here, just to stop Death Wish from doing that from the side, or something. I think you can do it from the side. But, uh... Yeah, I don't need that. I think I just figured it out. It's an old trick I learned from playing a Mevius map. I think the map was even called Oblique, if I remember the name correctly. Hmm. Let's see. I know I actually want to do... I need to get this all set up first. Let's walk through here. And, uh, I don't actually know which direction I want to aim this, but let's try this direction first. There we go. And then... That didn't quite work at all the way I was hoping it would, game. Uh, let's try that again. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't quite work, because the portal physics in this game are really bizarre. I think I hit the side there, but that's definitely... Maybe I should aim for that side and hurt if instead. Hmm. Anyway, let's try this again. I'm just doing- I'm just no-clipping to save time, because, you know... Saving time is a good thing to do. Not actually breaking the puzzle necessarily. Well, once more. So the idea is that we come into the angle panel and it angles us out of the green panel. Yeah, like that. That's what I wanted to do. It's a bit finicky in this situation. In the Mevius map, it's a bit easier to pull off, but in this map, it's a little bit finicky, if- if that's what we have to do. But I mean, I don't see any other thing that we could do, other than this. Oh yeah, that gives us plenty of time. Right. Well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!